and when I stand up for myself he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. So guys, Derek, more plates, more dates.com. Today we're going to be reacting to this viral clip of this uh, gym goer who caught a pervert on camera and then threatened, subsequently threatened to call the police and revoke her membership for calling him out. And it has since been uh, taken down, but there was a few people who managed to react to it in time or like stitch or duet it or whatever on TikTok. And this Twitter video is the only one I could find that captures the full thing. His reaction i could have sworn the dude sitting down was looking hard and dude turned to see how far he was looking at so uh, you get your own impression in a sec and when i stand up for myself he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership so in the caption you can see a shit ton of likes, 267,000. So presumably this video got millions of views or something. Good thing daddy set the bar real high and raised me to never take any disrespect. I don't know what the rest of the caption says, but that is what we can see. So trainer gets caught on camera being a pervert. When I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police, revoke my, mem my membership. So in the background, I can see this guy standing here. This guy's on the, on the chest press here and she's taking off her shirt. She's got these like... You know, almost booty shorts going. She's going down to sports bra deep and is uh, really scoping out to see if she's uh, like, she's obviously filming ahead of time while she's doing this and is, uh, you know, knows she's going to upload shit to TikTok or whatever. And you let me know what you think, guys. So we got homie in the back, give it a little peep. So if you see a chick with a great physique and she's wearing short, tight fucking clothes and pulls you know her shirt off and she's wearing a sports bra, are you not somewhat biologically wired to perhaps look over? You know, seems reasonable. Is the guy literally standing right beside her fucking drooling and staring at her ass? Doesn't seem to be the case, but he is, and it's in slow motion to like overemphasize the look and zoomed in on him. He's like across the fucking gym. And believe it or not, he's not the one who gets called out. So this guy, she adds her own caption. Oh, damn. Do you need something? So she says, do you need something somewhat quietly? And then do you need something more loudly? And then yells across the fucking gym, do you need something? The fact that it was slow mode and zoomed in on, and this was like the gap of time that it still took to get to the do you need something? I don't know, man. Seems like a bit of a reach to me. Like she's still taking off her shirt. It's not like she cut to like her having her shirt off and on the floor and it's like, you know, 10, 20 seconds later with the guy goggling at her or something. He's confused. He's like, do I need something? Like, what do you mean? Like, I'm fine. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, I thought so. Okay, I thought so. Keep it pushing. <laughs> Keep it pushing, bro. If you're getting rude, you can leave. Nobody was looking at you any type of way. I don't own the gym. I work here. Yes. And that if you're getting what? rude, then you can leave. That means what? I can call the police and have you trespassed mm -hmm. right now. Would you like that? Go ahead. Okay, cool. Go ahead, let them know. That's what we'll do. So right now, I'm just going to take your stuff and then I'll come. All right, she said you can do something. You got help. 
Like, oh my God, dude. And the fact that you had the audacity to go post this as if it was you being disrespected and you are in the right on this. Like, if you go to a public gym, I feel like this is definitely going to be like a Joey Swole video. The guy reacts to a shit ton of like these, uh, you know, gym camera recording situations. Oftentimes people are getting mad when they're, you know, being, when they're filming themselves and somebody steps in front of their video or whatever. And it's just like bad etiquette. But obviously there are good situations too, where people are, you know, chill and don't fuck with people in the gym unnecessarily. But this chick definitely woke up on the wrong side of the bed and was just like looking for a fight, bro. Like I gotta, I gotta go back and show you the zoom in, dude. Like it's so overly fucking exaggerated, like across the goddamn gym. Like we're, we're here right in front of the mirror. We've got this preacher curl. We've got this Smith. We've got this fucking thing. All the way on the other side, we got a chest press. And some attractive chick who pulls off her shirt and is wearing like tight ass fucking clothes, booty popping, fucking titties almost out, sports bra, tight shorts. Like to think, no one's like, I understand you, it's not ideal to have people ogling at you. And it would be gross and weird if a guy was literally fucking staring at you to a point of making you uncomfortable for like, you know, long spans of time, we get it. Or saying like rude, derogatory things or like whatever it is. But this guy across the fucking planet, bro, literally is like, oh, you know, biological fucking impulse kick in for a few seconds. Like what? Look at, oh shit. And then buddy, not even the guy who's looking, not even the guy's looking, just turns around, bro. Fucking turns around adds a caption for him on his behalf. Like, oh damn, you know, I am such a piece of shit. Oh damn. Dude, Joey Swole's gonna fucking shit on this chick. The attitude. This is like a chick on Tren. Like how, this is literally like the manifestation of like Tren and a dude on your first cycle and you can't handle the fucking mental agitation and you probably shouldn't be running the shit. Like this is the kind of thing you see with just a guy who's walking around the gym who thinks he's king shit for no reason. Like keep it pushing, you fucking idiot. So anyways, the reaction to this obviously wasn't, wasn't too great as you would expect for her. Like there's a lot of comments not on the TikTok anymore, but on the, in subreddits and stuff. Been seeing this a lot where chicks make themselves look out to be victims for, or whatever, for clout. Not defending being creepy at the gym, but look like he just glanced over for a second or two. I'd be stoked if I was wearing a tank and some chick did a double take or some shit, LOL. Yeah, imagine you had like a good pump or you had like a sick physique and like a chick like goes like, oh, like from across the gym. You'd be like, yes, like this is why I'm here. Like, <laughs> this is why I'm getting in shape, bro. Um, edit, does she also not know how to take off his shirt? <laughs> Record self, I don't like people looking at me. These are the same types of girls who work out for a week and think they're fitness influencers. She needs a lesson from Joey Swole. If you go to the actual video on her TikTok, she is removing every critical post that looks like she has 100% support. What's her TikTok? What a damn joke. Dude, what a damn joke. Dude glances in your general direction for a split second and you flip on him. It shows immaturity, self-obsession, and a desperate need for attention. I also love when she says, you don't own the gym. This was coming from the girl who randomly started shit with a guy because he dared glance in her direction. So she films herself taking off her shirt in a public gym, looks around to see who's looking at her, then gets upset when she finds someone looking at her. While she's looking at them. Weird. Then she posted on TikTok for millions to see her body. Hose will be hoes. This is why dating and courtship have been regulated to apps and Instagram stalkers. The ironic thing is, is she's posting like, if you go look at the uh, like the TikTok content she does, it's like, you know, like posting her physique updates and stuff and like literally showing off her physique. So when people are on the app, like literally some dudes literally like drooling over her shit, probably like literally following her just to look at her goddamn, you know, tight fucking shorts and tight outfit and working out and stuff. When they're looking on their phone, that's fine. You don't care if you're ogling over your phone, but a guy who glances over because he sees like something that catches his eye, that's bad, you know? Like by that account, you should be calling out every single person like watching your videos. Like, what are you doing watching my shit, huh? I'm just taking off my fucking shirt. Like, what's your deal? What's your deal, bro? Fuck. 
So this was probably the longest that shows the follow-up of what happened. Because I guess you can only stitch or duet or whatever for a couple seconds before it cuts off. But she did an update after that. Did you leave? Threatened to call the police, but he... Uh, so she said, did you leave? Threatened to call the police, but he... I was, I was trespassed and my membership was revoked, she says. Which, yeah, if you're starting shit... I'm uh, not surprised that people would, you know, have that reaction. But anyway, so let's see how she finishes her workout. So instead, she finishes her workout and starts posing in her fucking sports bra and short shorts. Just all the attitude in the world, bro. All they did was glance over and she escalated it to the max. We only looked at her like that because she did all that. Otherwise, I genuinely don't think anyone would have noticed her. She reaching. I mean, to be fair, the angle showed very little. It doesn't confirm anything. He literally glanced. She needs to be humbled. Oh, Jesus. She also reported my video. Jesus, fuck. Man, why can't I save the video? Make it public. I don't get it. It's always the ones who don't get the attention that try to shame pretty girls for not wanting attention. Her existing inner body and taking off a shirt. I don't know. Yeah, she's looking for attention. So, anyways, she has since uh, seemingly privated her account but these were she was responding to comments for a while until i guess it was uh i don't know like just felt like the she realized she fucked up or something like i don't know but or just like was overwhelmingly negative but not entitled just a woman that knows how to stand up for herself were you there no i'm a female alone in a gym with 98 percent dudes i felt threatened so if you're this easily threatened in a gym of 98 percent dudes where a guy from across the fucking gym the best most exaggerated shot you can get of him too is zooming in when he goes like, when he goes like, and his buddy turns around and you call out the buddy for turning around who did nothing. <laughs> like, how do you ever work out in the gym? Like, do you do this all the time? Was it just for TikTok? Or like, she seemed genuinely agitated. Like she was looking for a problem. So <laughs> I don't know, man, like go to a women's only gym. If it's that problematic for you, if you're this agitated by guys looking in your general direction, when you strip down in front of them, like some gym outfits nowadays are literally like a fucking like sex outfit. Like that's how intense it is. Literal just like wrapping the goddamn ass has like a goddamn like crotch maneuver thing to make it just like plump up more and look insane. And then you have like sports bras that are just like barely just like pushing the shit out of them titties. And what do you what do you expect? You know, like people might look that's, you know, <laughs> it's an expected outcome. Like presumably I would think you're probably wearing that shit to elicit some sort of response or because you feel confident in it because people think you're attractive and look at you a certain way because of it. Or else you just wear comfortable shit to the gym, you know? Like you would wear baggy ass, like comfortable shit likely if you did not want that outcome or you weren't trying to look a certain way. So anyway, she has since uh, seemingly privated the account and uh, I don't know, I think, she, I think she's probably been humbled at this point. I imagine... I don't know, like, I would highly doubt Joey Swole would have a different interpretation, but perhaps he does. I don't know. I guess we'll see what he says, but I imagine this is a clip that's going to be coming his way real fucking soon. If you haven't seen Joey Swole stuff, he basically is, like, the peak pinnacle reactor to gym content nowadays on TikTok and whatnot. So, anyways, we shall, uh, we shall see. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think. If you have a different opinion or anything, all the comments help the algorithm. are much appreciated. Like, subscribe. Check out my blog, moreplacemoredays.com. In general, what do you think about girls and their attire in unisex gyms as well as, I don't know, like, do you think this guy was in the wrong? Do you think he was, you know, not doing anything wrong? Do you think she's totally correct and she's just standing up for herself? What do you think? All comments help the algorithm. They're much appreciated. Like, subscribe. Check out my blog, moreplacemoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram, at moreplacemoredates, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below, my preventative medicine hormone replacement therapy platform. Get high-quality medical oversight from doctors and medical providers who present the same quality of information I try to put out on my channel when it comes to staying up-to-date on all of the current literature on endocrinology, pharmacology, biology, etc., um, as well, if you want to support me, a recommended diet model for gaining muscle and sports performance, a uh, clothing company that sponsors me, Gorilla Mind Nootropic Formulas, Gorilla Mode Pre-Workout Formulas, and Design Myself. Anything else I'm associated with, it's all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.